coin on. Hey there, YouTube coin community. It's Dustin with CoinOp, and today we are going to take a look at the top 10 strongest double dies in the entire Lincoln Cent series. So let's dive right on in. Okay, we are going to start this off in the number 10 position with the 1995 Double Die Adverse listed as FS101. Now this is a class 5 double die and this is a very popular variety. Now fortunately, a lot of these double dies left the mint. So you can easily find these while coin searching or if you wish to purchase one, because there are so many of them, it keeps the price down nice and low. Now doubling on this one can be seen on the word Liberty and on In God of In God We Trust. It's a little bit more minor on We and much more minor on Trust. And there's next to no doubling at all on the date. Now if you happen to find one of these uncirculated examples, trade anywhere from $6 upwards to $650 in really super high grades I have seen sell as high as $6,500 in auction. In our number nine position, we have the 1936 Double Die Adverse Lincoln Cent listed as FS101. This is the Type 1 1936 Double Die Adverse. Now this is a class four double die, and this is a very beautiful and strong double die. Now on this one, doubling can clearly be seen on the date, on the motto in God we trust, on Liberty, on Lincoln's profile. Well, basically most of the adverse of the coin, you can find doubling. So this is a very strong and beautiful variety. If you happen to have one of these or you find one of these, Circulated examples tend to trade between $50 and upwards of $500, while uncirculated examples tend to trade between $650 and all the way up to $45,000 for really nice uncirculated examples. In the number eight position, we have the 1960 Denver Mint. Double Die Adverse listed as FS101. This is a small date over large date variety. Now this one is very unique because it also happens to feature a repunched mint mark that is very strong on this one as well. Now this is a class three double die and doubling is strongest on the date. You can clearly see the doubling on the date. And then as well, when you're looking at the date, you can clearly see the repunched mint mark very high to the north of the primary mint mark. Now there is doubling, but it's much more minor on the rest of the design, but it is strongest on the date and that mint mark. Now, if you happen to have one of these, circulated examples tend to trade between $15 and upwards of $60, while uncirculated examples tend to trade between $75 in upwards of $1,300. In the number seven position, we are gonna take a look at the 1984 Double Die Obverse. Now this one is listed as FS101, and this happens to be one of my personal favorite varieties. This is a class four double die, and this one is the doubled ear variety. As I stated, this is one of my favorite varieties. I love the doubled ear variety Lincoln Sense, and this is one of the strongest ones and by far one of the most beautiful. Now on this one, doubling is very strong on the profile. Clearly you can see it on the ear. You can also see it on his chin, on his bow tie, on his eye, his mouth, well basically all over his profile, his hair. Now this is a nice, beautiful, strong double die, and if you happen to find one of these while coin searching, Circulated examples tend to trade between $20 and upwards of $50, while uncirculated examples tend to trade between $75 and all the way up to $1,800. Now in the number six position, we are gonna take a look at the 1970S 
Double Die Obverse. This one is listed as FS101. I will tell you right now, this is a very scarce variety. This is a very tough one to find. There are not many examples of this out there, and that keeps the prices on this one pretty high. So if you do find one of these, these are very valuable. Now on these ones, doubling is the strongest, obviously, on the date and up on In God We Trust. You can also see it over on Liberty. Now this is a class one double die, and if you do happen to find one of these, if you're lucky enough to find one of these, they start out in circulated grades between $400 and upwards of $550. There are only two or three that have sold in a circulated condition. Uncirculated examples tend to trade between $1,500 and all the way up to $37,000. So again, this is a very scarce variety and it can be very valuable. In our number five position, we have the 1972 Double Die Verse. Now this one is listed as FS101. This is a very strong class one double die. Now this is one of the most popular double dies in the Lincoln Scent series. Uh, this one most people do know about. Now this is a very strong double die where doubling shows on the date, on In God We Trust, on Liberty, and well basically all over the entire obverse of the coin. If you happen to find one of these while you are coin searching, uh, circulated examples start out at around $40 and trade upwards of $200, while uncirculated examples tend to trade between $300 and all the way up to $22,000 for really nice high-grade uncirculated examples. Moving on to our number four position, we are taking a look at the 1983 Double Dyed Reverse. This one is listed as FS801. This is a Double Dyed Reverse variety, and this is a very strong Double Dye Reverse. Most of your Double Dye Reverses are nowhere near as strong as this one. This is just a very beautiful Class 4 Double Dye. Now, if you happen to find one of these really strong double dies while out coin searching, values on these in circulated conditions start out at around $15 and trade upwards of $55, while uncirculated examples tend to trade between $150 all the way up to $8,500. Now, on this one, doubling is very strong all over the entire reverse. You can see it on one cent. You can see it on United States of America, on E. Pluvaris Unum, on the Memorial Building, on the designer's initials. The entire reverse is doubled. Now we are moving on to our number three position. Now this one is the 1958 Double Die Obverse. This one is listed as FS101. This is a very super, super rare variety. There are only three known examples of this one. Now, doubling is very strong on the motto, In God We Trust, and on Liberty, but it's much more minor on the date. It's barely any doubling at all on the date. Most of the doubling is on In God We Trust and on Liberty, and it is very, very strong. Now, this one, like I said, there are only three known examples. So estimated values on these are between $125,000 and $150,000. So these are worth a lot of money. Okay, we are now moving on to our number two position. We are taking a look at a 1969S double die obverse this is listed as fs 101 now this is a really strong class one double die and this is one of the most popular double dies in the entire lincoln scent series when it comes to modern lincoln scents basically 1959 until current this would be the most popular the only one that is more popular would be the 1955 double die which is with the uh, wheat reverse but the 1969S is just over the top popular. Very strong doubling can be seen on the date, on Liberty, 
on In God We Trust, basically the entire obverse of the coin, you can find very strong doubling. Now, if you happen to find one of these, if you're lucky enough to find one of these while out coin searching, and keep in mind there are less than 33 known examples currently, if you happen to find one of these, circulated examples start out at around $13,000 and trade upwards of $24,000, while uncirculated examples tend to trade between $30,000 and all the way up to $120,000. This is just super rare and worth a lot of money. Okay, moving on to our number one position. We are going to take a look at the 1955 double die obverse. This is by far the most popular double die in the entire Lincoln Cent series. This is a very, very strong class one double die. And this is just an all around beautiful double die that just accents anybody's collection. If you own one of these, it definitely will stand out in your collection. It will be the talk of your collection. Now on these ones, doubling is just very strong all over the entire obverse of the coin. You can see it very strong on the date, on Liberty, on the motto, in God we trust, on the profile, his hair, his nose, his lips, his eye, the bow tie, his vest, just everywhere on the entire obverse of the coin, you can find doubling. Now, if you are lucky enough to find one of these double dies while out cherry picking coin shops or searching some wheat scents, circulated examples start out at around $950 and trade upwards of $2,000, while uncirculated examples trade anywhere between $2,000 and upwards of $55,000. Well, everyone, we definitely hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely hope it opens your eyes to how beautiful some of these really strong double dies in the Lincoln Scent series can be, along with how rare and valuable some of them can be. So while you are out and about and you get any kind of change, make sure you look your pocket change over. Always be looking for this kind of stuff. Anytime you do happen to find a beautiful double die in your pocket change, it literally is like hitting a small jackpot. Well, everyone, if you enjoyed this video, do us a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. The more that you interact with our channel, the more it encourages YouTube to share our content with more and more people. Also by subscribing. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, click on that subscribe button. And while you're at it, click on the bell. That way you get notified immediately when we upload new content. Well, everyone, until next time, have fun.